Hello children. Let's learn science with TTS. Today, we will learn about classes of food. At the end of the lesson, pupils are able to give examples of food for each class of food and make generalization about the importance of food according to its class for the human body. Classes of food Food can be classified into seven groups which are carbohydrate, proteins, fats, minerals, vitamins, fiber, and water. Carbohydrates are made up of sugar molecules and a source of energy. Pasta, rice, noodles, and bread are examples of carbohydrates. Protein is second group of food. Protein is essential to building muscle mass. It is commonly found in animal products. It's also present in other sources such as nuts and legumes. The example of protein are vegetables and fruits, meat and poultry, milk, soy, and nuts. Fats. Fats are substances that help the body use some vitamins and keep the skin healthy. They are also the main way the body stores energy. Some examples of food that contain fats are butter, oil, nuts, meat, fish, and some dairy products. Minerals Minerals are those elements on the earth and in foods that our bodies need to develop and function normally. Minerals can be found in cereals, meat, anchovies, white pepper and black pepper, fruits, and vegetables. Vitamins are a group of substances that are needed for normal cell function, growth, and development. You can get a lot of vitamins in fruits and vegetables. You can also get a lot of vitamins from meat, fish, and eggs. Fiber is a type of carbohydrate that our body can't digest. Fiber is in all plant foods, including fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts, seeds, and legumes. Water is very important to living things. You need water to digest your food and get rid of waste. We also can get water from juices. There are a lot of vegetables that contain water. Example, cucumber. Okay class, now let's we take a look at the importance of food. Carbohydrate. Carbohydrate provides energy to us so that you can jump, you can run, you can walk, and you can do a lot of activities. Protein is very important to human for growth. Children need enough protein and nutrients for healthy growth. While vitamins and minerals will keep us stay healthy. Okay kids, do you know that water can regulate our body temperature? It means if you feel hot by drinking enough water, it can help to reduce our body temperature. How about fiber? Fiber can prevent constipation. Constipation can cause 
hard, dry poops that are painful or difficult to move out of the body. Okay kids, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and listening. See you again in our next lesson.